everyone, Eric Wexler here with another video. I'm so sorry it's been a while since I've posted a video. I know I don't post many, but I'm going to try and start changing that. It's been a little bit of a struggle trying to get these videos going because I don't have the best equipment and I'm still working on my confidence level. I'm not used to doing videos, but the more you do stuff, uh, the easier it gets. So. Here we go. Today's topic, I'm going to talk about how to make art your full-time career if you so choose to do so. Now with this being said, I did not just jump into art before having a plan. I was a graphic designer for 10 years. I did that and had a very steady paycheck and saved money before. I started doing this because art is a slow process and with me giving you this advice I'm just going to tell you how I did it. I'm not the guru on how to make art your career. I'm still figuring it out myself. I don't have it all figured out yet but I'm going to share with you my experiences on how I've gotten to where I've gotten so far. Um, the first thing I did was, number one, build a solid portfolio of work. You need about 15 to 25 really good pieces that you're very proud of. Um, just practicing as much as possible. You have to live, breathe, eat, everything, art. Um, practicing, practicing, practicing. I used to get up early in the morning and just paint for like 10 hours or 12 hours straight sometimes. Um, just breaks to eat and go to the bathroom really. I would just make it a goal to do at least eight hours a day in the beginning. Make it a full-time job just like you would if you're going to work and you have to work a full eight to nine hours that's what I would do with painting um, I really enjoyed that process because it was very tough at first but everything challenging is rewarding the, the more you do stuff and you see that you're getting better in the progress that you're making it it builds your confidence and it makes you want to do it more so that was my experience with practicing as much as possible. Now after you've had your solid portfolio of work and you're very proud of it and you want to show the world, the next thing to do is to build an audience and a following. Now this is definitely easier said than done and again I'm still figuring that out as well. Um, social media makes it a lot easier for artists to get their work out these days so you have to utilize every platform there is out there now Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Tumblr, YouTube you have to do it all and it can be challenging it's challenging to always be creating new fresh work as well as making it enticing for the audience and having a whole marketing behind all of the work that you're doing. Um, you have to go to art fairs, you have to go to art shows, you have to get your work seen by as many people as possible. That's your goal. And this goal never ends. It doesn't stop. Once you think you've hit um, a goal in mind, do you keep going? You want the whole world to see your work. Now, getting the audience and the following, it helps to have a business plan. And that's the third thing. You have to use your other side of your brain. Your artist's brain is the creative side. You have to use the logical side for this part. And it's all about budgeting. Um, you have to know what your target audience is. You have to plan goals and meet those goals um, for daily goals, monthly goals, and yearly goals. You have to create daily lists. 
Um, you have to email galleries. You have to build your Patreon page and social posts. Um, as well as you have to keep practicing and still be painting or drawing or doing whatever you're doing also still in addition. So it's a lot of work. Um, prints, prints are a big part of having, you know, revenue come in. You can either make them yourself or you can go and have a printer company do them for you. I personally have someone do them for me because I have a company that I trust that's very affordable. It's called Copy Central and they're in Burbank. Um, they do Gicle prints. I highly recommend them. They are not paying me for this advertisement. <laughs> um, but that's my little tidbit on prints. Now the most important thing about making art your full-time career is to be serious about it. It's diving full in head first without looking. It's taking chances. It's quitting whatever current job that you have. Um, you have to take a risk and you have to make this your full-time job and that's it. You know, that doesn't mean you don't, you know, do other investments or other things on the side, but this is your main focus now, is art. Now the next little piece of advice I have is to look at your peers for guidance. At these art shows that you'll be going to and different events, you'll be meeting other artists and ask them, ask them for advice, ask them what they're doing, how they're making it, um, where are they getting their prints? Um, which art shows are they doing? What are the best ones to go to? Ask questions. Um, nobody can do this really on their own. I think, in my opinion, we all need help from somebody else. And the best help to get is from your fellow artists because that's we're all of the same team. This is a big network. It's a big family. That's how I look at it. The last and most important thing is to have faith and believe in yourself. Know you will succeed. Art is very subjective and beauty is in the eye of the beholder and you never know what the world is going to love and especially if you love it, everybody's going to feel that. Um, loving what you do, it's the most important thing, I think. If you don't love what you do, and we spend the majority of our time working on a daily basis, then what are you doing? Um, that being said, there are definitely things to take into consideration, real world responsibilities. I don't have kids. That's one thing that I know has got to be very tough. If you have kids you have to take care of, that comes first. And sometimes we have to sacrifice our dreams for those kids. Um, but... That being said, also, I still think that you can do both. If you, if you have the power in yourself to unleash all of societal lies that we've been told that we can't really do what we love, we have to do these jobs that we don't necessarily like just for a paycheck, it's all lies. It's all BS. Um, all right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, subscribe, and share if you did like this video. And please check out my Patreon page if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate all of your support. I would not be able to do this without any of you. So thank you so much. Talk to you soon.